Welcome to Skillcap's guide to PvP gearing in Season 1 of The War Within. In this video, we're going to cover everything you need to know to stay ahead of the curve in PvP, from Arena and Battleground Blitz to World PvP. If you enjoyed the gear system in Dragonflight, you're in luck. The War Within has continued to improve the gearing process. Whether it be cheaper crafting or free PvP weapons, there's a lot to like about it. And if you're ready to dominate in the war within, our brand new update to the skill capped add-on has just dropped, giving skill cap members the best UI for PvP with just one click. We've partnered with the world's best players to ensure the skill capped UI is ready for every class in the war within, and to bring you exclusive guides that unlock the full potential of your class. From maximizing damage to perfecting crowd control and outsmarting opponents with the latest tech, we've got you covered. While everyone else is confused, you can instantly get ahead of the curve with our guides, designed to fast track your progress and put you miles ahead of the competition. We're even so confident in our service that we guarantee you'll gain at least 400 rating or you'll get your money back. So why wait? Click the link in the description below and join Skillcap today. Before we get into the endgame gear, let's very quickly talk about leveling. Leveling in the War Within is a short and painless experience with loads of variety. Unless you have your own plan, we would recommend that you make an effort to gather some gear during those final few levels. This is because battlegrounds and arenas now include scaling technology designed to help new characters. Any items above 538 item level will automatically be scaled up to 600 eye level. This is obviously a significant bonus and one you ought to take advantage of. In our case, after hitting max level, we had a few key pieces that were too low. These will be the pieces of gear you want to prioritize replacing, and you have a few options. Firstly, you can just pinch honor from your other characters. The War Within has made it easier than ever to move honor around, so if you're dealing with an alt, this is definitely something worth considering. Alternatively, you can purchase or order crafted PvP gear. This will scale beyond the 600 item level threshold, straight to 613. If you go this route, it's significantly cheaper to have them crafted, rather than purchasing them directly off the auction house. We go into this in the crafting section later on. But for the cheapest alternative, you can buy regular BOE greens from the auction house above 535 item level to fill any low slots. In this clip, we pick up a 75 item level increase for about 500 gold, which is significantly cheaper than the price of the crafted PvP gear. If you can get every piece scaled up to 600 eye level like this, you're set up for a good time. Before starting an honor grind, you may want to consider purchasing one of the new Vicious Flasks from the Auction House. These provide a 15% buff to your honor acquisition, plus an extra combat effect if you're feeling fancy. Once the season has started, you'll also want to make sure you pick up the Weapons of Conquest from the Conquest Vendor, who can be found here by the city entrance. We'll come back to this quest a bit later. Finally, pick up your weekly PvP quests, including the Brawl quest, which is hidden away in the journal. Now it's time to get some semi-respectable gear, and the easiest way to do that is through Battlegrounds. Now if you're really lucky, the Comp Stomp event will currently be ongoing. Farming the bots in Comp Stomp is regarded as the most efficient way to farm honor, and it's certainly the easiest. But it's also lame as hell, so don't feel too bad if you've missed out. So you'll most likely be queuing for random battlegrounds. We personally don't have much of a strategy to this. We queue for both standard and epic BGs and accept whatever pops. Epic Battlegrounds will be your friend in lower gear, and all the Ashran and Winter Grasp quests will have reset, which can be very lucrative. Once you earn some honor, you might as well spend it, and there's a few key slots you will want to sort out early. As a general rule, we prefer to access the PvP trinket set bonus as soon as possible. You can use Dragonflight trinkets if available, though we would still be eager to upgrade these. Then we'd recommend purchasing weapons. And as part of this process, you can enable War Mode and check to see if any PvP world quests are offering a potential upgrade. And from there, your options open up based on how your character is looking. You can make decisions based on the item's stats, the value of the slot, or you can go straight for items that you will be enchanting. The choice is yours. Before we continue, we just wanted to remind you about our free article site, which has been updated for The War Within. You can find our gearing guides for every spec there, which we'll be keeping up to date as the season progresses, and have also included talent import strings there, so be sure to visit the link in the description after this. Now that you're fully decked out in honor gear, you're ready to actually play the game. For about six years now, we've had to tell you about some weekly vault or chests that you needed to unlock. While the Great Vault still remains in the War Within, you may be excited to learn that it is no longer a source of PvP gear. So while there are things to do each week, you are no longer punished for missing a week or arriving late. Good news for everyone. Whether you're into Arena, Battleground, Blitz, or both, rated activities will reward you with conquest points. This is the premium currency for purchasing PvP gear. Like previous seasons, Conquest will have a seasonal cap that increases week to week before the cap is eventually removed. 
As we already mentioned, there is a new quest available to players this season, Weapons of Conquest. According to Blizzard, this quest will require us to earn 2500 Conquest and reward us with a shiny new PvP weapon. So with the weapons being essentially free, that allows you to purchase other items much sooner. When it comes to World PvP, the system has yet to be fully implemented, but Blizzard has made their plans clear. While in War Mode, basically all world content will reward you with bloody tokens, which can be used to purchase epic PvP gear similar to Conquest gear. Warmonger gear scales to 636 item level, only 3 levels behind Conquest gear. This makes it an ideal source of short term upgrades for the early weeks of the season. Bloody tokens behave almost exactly like Conquest points, with a weekly cap that rises over time. The Sparks of War quest is a source of a significant chunk of your weekly bloody token cap. This means that you aren't pushing for missing a week, it's just an inconvenience for you. So in short, you'll want to be getting involved in world PvP early in the season to take advantage of this gear. Between conquest and crafted gear, it's unlikely that many best pieces will come from this, but it's beneficial in the short term. Tier sets remain unchanged in the War Within. For those unaware, each season offers unique sets of gear, offering a potent bonus based on your specialization. The only way to acquire tier gear with PvP scaling is via the Creation Catalyst, which has remained basically unchanged for the last two years. All you do is drop a piece of epic PvP gear into the slot, and it'll be transformed into an equivalent piece from the tier set. The Catalyst has a limited number of charges, so be sure to use it wisely on your best-in-slot pieces. The crafting system in the War Within is very similar to Dragonflight, but with a few key differences. Rather than applying PvP scaling to any item, PvP gear is now a designated set called Competitor's Gear. The quality of your item is determined by the quality of heraldry you use. The three different heraldries are purchased from this guy, in the same room as the gear vendors. For your best in slot pieces, you need the Forged Gladiator's Heraldry. Depending on the slot, a piece of gear will require three or four of these items, but two-handed weapons can go all the way up to ten heraldry. Next, swing by the auction house and purchase any remaining reagents that you require. You should be safe to buy the cheapest quality of these materials. The item's quality does not affect its PvP scaling. Make sure to also purchase your preferred missive, this will determine the stats that your item will have. Then under the same heading, you pick your preferred embellishment. Finally, you take all this junk to the crafting order guy, plug it all in like so, and leave a small tip to convince the crafter to get off their ass and make the damn thing. At minimum, you will want to run with two crafted pieces for the embellishments, but crafted gear is a key method of acquiring gear with your preferred stat line. Once you have some best in slot gear, it's time to think about gemming it. The War Within introduces a new approach to gems that serve as long-term progression and an extra use for honor. Vicious Jeweler's settings are now the sole method of applying gems to PvP gear. Thankfully, these don't involve crafting and can be earned in a bunch of different ways. The most straightforward involves just buying the settings from this guy for the cost of two Vicious Bloodstones and a bunch of honor. These Bloodstones can either be bought directly from him as well, or you can purchase the gems from the Auction House. Alternatively, the settings are able to drop from Victory Boxes and have been reported as appearing as World Quest rewards and being found in a special chest found out in the world. Once you have the setting, you can apply it to a Best in Slot piece. For your first gem, you will want to craft one of the new PvP gems that have been introduced with the new expansion. This will once again involve crafting. You will need to purchase another Vicious Bloodstone, purchase these remaining mats from the Auction House, and put up a crafting order for your preferred gem. Each of these gems is powerful, but the obvious standout is the Cognitive Bloodstone, which provides casters with the Precognition effect. Enchants in the War Within remain mostly unchanged from the previous expansion. You can enchant your cloak, chest, wrists, weapons, legs, boots, and rings, the same slots as last expansion. Most enchants have direct equivalents to last expansion, but one interesting addition are the ring enchants. You can now purchase cursed enchants that offer you additional value, but at the cost of reducing another one of your stats. And remember this, Skill Capped is the only service that guarantees you'll climb at least 400 rating. We make this promise because skill cap really does work, and if it doesn't work for you, you should not pay. Think of it like a gym membership that guarantees you'll get ripped. Crazy, right? So get started today by clicking on the link in the description. As always, though, we want to thank you all for watching. See you soon.